Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful bracelet. It's made only out of seed beads and I'll show you really easy step by step. So I'm sure by the end of this video you're gonna be able to make it. So if you wanna see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much much you help me only with this action and I'll promise I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments and of course if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials you could share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my new merch store where you could find t-shirts hoodies mugs pillows phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs there are made especially from me for you they help you express your personality better and they're a great present for you or for your beading friends when you buy stuff from there you support me my channel and my mission and you could find links down there in description and here at the eye icon thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the materials okay guys so for this video what I'm going to use are three colors of 11 o seed beads and these are HO beads and uh, here I'm using toggle clasp you could use any clasp you like and I'm using jump rings I'm also using scissors this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters I like to use it because it's clear and I squeeze it with my flat nose pliers to go through size 10 beading needle and you could use regular beading thread if you want because they are made flat and they easily go through the eye of size 10 beading needle and now guys I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread and I'll be back okay guys and I'm going to take one eight-o bead and I'm going to take a black a red and a black okay now this is what I have on my needle and I'm going to slide it down I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop and now I go with my tail thread once and then I go second time through this loop I've made and I'm pulling and now you see this is what I have pull tight really tight okay then what I do is that I go through this silver bead here and I want to take the same sequence of beads black red and black okay this is what I have and I will go back through this silver bead in circle okay like that now this is what I have I will flip my work because I like to work in this direction and here I'm going through this black bead then through the next red and a black one and here I need two red beads okay and I'm going through this black one here like that then I might want to go again through these beads take again two red beads go here through this black one okay now this is what I have and now I'm going to skip this angle red bead I will go through the black and through the following red okay I'm pulling here I need one black bead okay just like that and I'm going through the red and through the following black I'm pulling skipping this angle red bead here and going through the black and through the red after that pulling and I need one more black bead okay And now guys this is what I have and in my next step I will go through this angle bead red angle bead here and I'm going to take three black beads 
just like that and I'm going back in circle through this red bead pulling and I'm going to repeat this three more times with the angle beads okay I will go through this angle bead which in this case is black okay like that and I'm taking three black beads and again I'm going back in circle through this black one just like that then I'm going through these three beads one red one black and one red I'm taking three black beads and I'm going back in circle through this red one then I will go through these three beads and take three black beads okay like that and I will flip and I'm going through these black and through the following two black beads pull to the center of your work okay I might want to go one more time around those beads to make them stay like a cross and now I'm exiting here pulling to the center and what I need here are two silver beads and I will go here through this one then here I will take one red bead and go through this black one then I need one more red going through this black and I need two silvers again go through the following black one red go through the black one more red go through the black two silvers go here one red one more two silvers red one more okay like that then I will go through these two silvers here and the black and the red one and what I want to take here are three silver beads I'm going through them then I need three black beads going through the red one and I need three silvers go here three black ones three silvers three black three silvers
three blacks. Okay, now my element is ready and I'm going to show you how to make your knots, okay? I'm going here through these two beads, making a loop and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through the loop of meat and I'm pulling and now guys I might want to repeat this several more times and when I'm ready I will just cut my thread and my element is ready okay guys and now I have three elements ready and I will show you how to connect them in a bracelet and then I'll make more and more elements and continue with my bracelet okay so the first step is to take a new thread on my needle, which is about, let's say, an arm span. And I'm going to take my first element. And I want to attach this, this thread to the element, okay? And I'm going here through this silver bead, okay? Pulling. And now I will hold my tail thread with my fingers. And I will pull my thread like this to make a loop. And now I'm going once. And I'm going second time through the loop of meat. And I'm pulling. And I want to go through this red one here. like that and my goal is to exit through this middle black bead here from these three beads this is the middle one and what I want to do is take five silver beads okay I have my five here and as I'm exiting from this black bead I will go back in circle through the same black one Okay, like that. And now what I want to do is reinforce all of those beads here. And this is where I will attach my toggle clasp later with my jump ring. And now what I want to do is go through all of those bits and reach here at this side. Okay guys, and I reach here at this side. And now I want to connect this element to the other one. Okay, I'm connecting it this way, okay. So in order to do this, I will exit from this black bead here and what I want to do is take one silver bead go here to this silver and pull now go to this one here take one silver again Go through this middle silver one Okay, pull Then again through this silver One more silver Go here Okay, like that this one and again go through all of those black beads then go through all of those silver beads 
and repeat this step one more time. One silver, go here, then back through this silver. One silver, go here in the middle bit, pull. go through this silver, one silver, go through the last silver, here again, through all of those three silvers, And then again through this last three and then take your next element and I will connect them okay going here through this silver through this black sorry here is what I have I have a connection between my silver and my black and I will go back in the silver making a loop between those two beads like I did before okay you see the loop between them okay here it is and I'm pulling I will flip my work because it's easier for me then I'm going here in the middle black one And then I will go through this silver again, making a loop between the black and the silver. And you see I'm turning my work the way it's easier for me. Okay. Then I'm going through the black and through the following black, pulling. And I'm connecting this silver with the last black one. Okay guys, now I will go through all of my beads here, exit here and I will connect my third element and I will continue doing this until I have a bracelet that's long enough to wrap it around my wrist and then I'll be back to show you how to finish it. Ok guys, and when I continue beading the same way, making more elements and connecting them, this is what I have. I made 7 elements because my wrist is small but you could do more if you want. And now I'm here at the end of my bracelet and I'm going to show you how to finish it. Ok. I'm going here through the central black bead and what I want to take are five silver beads and as I'm exiting from this black one in the middle I will go back in circle through it okay and now what I want to do is reinforce this part where I will attach my toggle clasp Ok, and reinforce it as many times as you can and when you're ready you should make a knot and cut your thread and I'm making a knot by making a loop going once, going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling then I'm going through the following seed bead 
and I'm cutting my thread. And now guys, this is what I have. Now I'm going to show you how to attach your toggle clasp. And I will attach it by using here a jump ring. Okay. And I will take this jump ring with my pair of pliers, okay. Taking this this way and what I do is that I open up this jump ring then I will take my clasp and I will take here my bracelet and the loop of beads that I did okay taking this then what I do is that I take again my pliers and I squeeze back, okay, like that. I squeeze it, okay. And now I have this. I have my toggle clasp attached and I will do this from the other side. Okay guys, and when I repeat this from the other side, this is what I have. My seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment. And you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my new merch store where you could find pillows, hoodies, mugs, t-shirts, phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you. They help you express your personality better and they are a great present for you or for your beading friends. When you buy stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission and you could find links here at the eye icon and down there in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.